everyone, it's Abby from Make a Life from Run Your Runway, and in front of you is last week's makeup basket. I actually had this basket for two weeks. Uh, one week I showed you pulling the basket, and then the other week I showed you um, me applying some of the makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. This is actually going to be a travel makeup bag, so I'm going to go through and show you skincare, um brushes, lipstick, all that stuff to show you what I'm going to take on my trip with you. It's going to be very sensible. I'm not going to pull a whole lot, just realistically what I would really use on my trip. So, if this sounds like something you would like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, so I rearranged my drawers because I did a makeup declutter and a nail polish declutter, which will be coming up on my channel um, the next upcoming weeks and so this is um all I just rearranged this top drawer was just like extras and some eye products so now it is face products so um what I'm going to do is start with this drawer obviously I put all my makeup into this like trifold bag it has the top compartment the middle compartment and then a bottom compartment so I'm going to go ahead and pick products to put in there. And I usually end up having to grab another bag to put some other like skincare and just random stuff in. So let's just go in the order that I apply all my makeup. Because I think that's going to be the easiest um, to follow and to help plan for this video. So the first off is my moisturizer. This is the Andalou Naturals Daily Defense Sheer um, Facial Lotion SPF 18. I'm going to go down south, South Carolina, to see my family. And it is hot and humid there, so I'm not going to wear a lot of makeup, but I do want some options for just even out my skin complexion and that kind of thing. So it's going to be a very sensible <laughs> travel bag, I guess you could say. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. And um, I think I'm going to keep my skincare pretty simple. So I'm going to leave, I was thinking about taking my toner, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the toner here. Um, I'm just going to do my lotion and my face cleanser. And I think I'm just going to be simple, I think. Because I'm just seeing family, like it doesn't get crazy, it's pretty low key, like just going to stores, hanging out, watching movies, spending time with people, we don't really like do anything too off the wall. <laughs> um, so I am going to, I need a primer, so what primer do I want to take? Do I want a primer? Um... Yeah, I'm going to take, this is the Prime Master um, Blur Illuminate Primer, and this has SPF 30 in it, so this would be good considering I'm going to be in the sun so much. So that will be my primer. Um, I'm going to reach over and grab something from my project pan. So this is the Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue. This is a part of my project pan, but I'm going to go ahead and take it with me for um, foundation. So I think that's good. Um, I want to grab a concealer. I'm just going to take this NARS. It's like a sample size of the um, medium one custard. I used this last week and it is pretty much my skin color, maybe a little bit darker and orangier, but it still looks nice on my skin. So I'm going to pull that for concealer. Um, and then to set it, I'm going to take my Maybelline Set and Smooth Powder. This one is in 125 Nude beige so I think that's good I'm not going to take a loose powder with me this time I'm just going to stick to that and um, don't need my, those concealers I'm not going to grab any of these blushes um, so I think that honestly might be it from this drawer yes yes no maybe so yeah let's go down to the next drawer okay so I'm not going to actually pull anything from this drawer except for my brushes. I want to go ahead and grab some. I want to take these Real Techniques. Let's see, what do I want? I need a crease brush. So this is one that um, is from Luxie. Yeah, and this is the Luxie 205. This came in an Ipsy bag a while back. I'm going to grab that. 
and I like kind of having a crease brush so this is the Sephora base shadow brush I'm gonna take that with me I like having a blending brush this is I think this is the same brush as the other one yeah they're the same just different packaging so I'm gonna take these two and then I think that is it for eyeshadow brushes okay so let's look at the face brushes because those are like the most important all right so i am gonna ah, i am gonna end up taking like a blush bronzer and then i need something for face powder so um let's see what do i have in here Okay, so for face powder, I'm going to take, this is the buffing brush by um, Real Techniques. It looks like it's like dirty, but I only used it one time and then threw it in here because I didn't want to use it. But this is the one that I like using my face powder with. I have another one that I have been using that needs to be washed. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. And then for blush and bronzer, I'm going to do the Real Techniques. This is the blush brush, but it works really well for both things. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Um, blush brush for my highlight. This is a really nice highlight brush and I think that will be good for my brushes. So we're going to go down. So we're going to go down to the palette drawer. Here's my palette drawer. I did some rearranging in here. Palettes are so awkward to arrange. But um, one thing I want to grab out of here is I need a sponge, but I don't want to take my beauty blender. This is actually a Sephora, no, sorry, an Ulta sponge. It's not my favorite, but I am going to go ahead and use it for the trip because with that complexion rescue stuff, I just put it on my face with my hands and then I just use the sponge to kind of, if there's any lines or streaks or places it didn't really blend out. So I'm gonna grab that and I think that's everything from that. But anyways, if you guys have watched my traveling um, baskets before, I don't like taking makeup that I adore, that I would be devastated if it got broken and I couldn't replace it or I had to replace it. So and that's why another reason I'm so sensible when I travel with makeup because I just, I would be devastated. <laughs> so um, the one palette I want to take right here is, this is the Tarte um, Rainforest After Dark. And this one is great because it has um, the eyeshadows, their cool tone, the blush, bronzer, and highlight, and it's very, like, this isn't going to break. Like, it's so solid, and I love all these products, and I can do, like, smoky looks or just simple looks with it. It's very user-friendly and versatile, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and I'm not going to grab any other eyeshadows or anything to go along with that. I do have my um, project pan items right here, and I want to grab a couple things out of here. I want to grab the um, Voluminous Blue Mascara. It's the cobalt color. Um, I want to take my Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfection. There's only a few uses in it, but um, it would be nice to mix in with my moisturizer. And that's what I love doing on days I don't wear any makeup, is just going ahead and taking both my lotion and the Becca product and mixing them together. It kind of evens out my skin tone a little bit, but most importantly, it adds that glow. Um, I'm going to take this shadow base. This is Maybelline Color Tattoo Bronze Truffle. going to take that, and I'll link my project pans down below. And I'm also going to take this cream highlight from Cover FX and Bubbly. Um, if you have not seen those videos, that is what we're working with. Um, so definitely want to try to still make use on these products and make progress while I am out of town. I don't need the loose powder. I will go ahead and take the NYX Electric Liner. I'm trying to use ah, trying to use that one up. And um. I will take my primer water as a finishing spray. It's not my favorite as a finishing spray, but I need to go ahead and make progress on this for the sake of the project pan. 
I know I would not even attempt black liner. Um, I can use that. I need to make progress on this Urban Decay, but I really don't want to take another product. I can just use the concealer, so I'm not going to take that. I don't need a foundation, and I don't want to take other palettes. So I'm going to sit this to the side. Um, I do need some other products. I'm going to take my eyebrow products, the Brow Stylist by L'Oreal. I'm going to take that in Brunette. And I'm going to take a different brow gel. I'm going to do the um, Milani Lash, or sorry, Easy Brow Tinted Brow Gel. This does have the fibers in it. Um, I mostly want to take this because I'm almost done with the Gimme Brow. Um, probably not enough for travel, so I'm just going to stick with that. I do want to take the um, Mary Kay Lash Primer, really enjoy that, and I'm going to take the Lancome Hypnos Drama little sample mascara for the black mascara. I do have the blue one, and I, I still have some uses in there real, but just like the Gimme Brow, I don't know exactly how much is in there, and I don't want any surprises while I'm out of town. I do want to pull a single eyeshadow, which is, um, this is one of my favorites, the L'Oreal in, um, color reshade, what is it, 207, it's just like a really pretty taupe silver type color, so definitely want to get use out of that while I am gone, and I said lip products, so let me grab those. This is kind of what I had pulled out of all of my purses. So what do I want to take? I have the um, Jack Black Lip Balm. This is a natural mint. I have one that is more full that I need to find because that's the one I actually want to take with me. This one is pretty much done. But I'm going to pull it as a reminder to find the one that is more full. I'm going to take two butter glosses. Um, these are my favorite lip products. One is in... Fortune Cookie, and one is in Tiramisu. Tiramisu is in a project pan, but I want some options, so I'm going to take both of them. And I don't really do lipstick or anything like that on a normal basis, so I'm not going to take that. I don't need these three. Here's a lipstick. This is Essence. Um, this is like a nude lipstick. These are so cheap, so I find like when I want to experiment with different colors to get like a cheaper brand. So I bought this to play with and see how I feel about wearing a lip that is this nude. I haven't really worn it that much, but I do think I want to take the Amore Matte. This is Milani's, uh, which one is this one? Prismatic Touch. So the summer is like the perfect time to wear these. I think that's everything. I have my lotion, I have a setting spray, I have a primer, I have my base, I have um, brushes and lips. I think that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag and I will be right back to show you what that looks like. Okay, it's kind of awkward to show all this, but in the top I just leave it empty for hair ties basically. And then in the second compartment I have in there um, moisturizers and my brushes and the beauty sponge. And then I have my lip products here in this mesh compartment. And then in the bottom compartment is like this clear container. And that is where, this clear container right here, and that is where I have all of the makeup sitting nicely in. And so this is really nice because you can just go ahead and fold it up and then like when you get somewhere you can hang it on like their shower rod or whatever um and then it just snaps right here and then that is my makeup travel bag so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm hoping i'm sorry i'm like not as energetic i'm like trying to think to make sure like i'm grabbing everything so hopefully i'm not forgetting anything and don't have to go back and add anything more to this bag but thank you all for watching i will link last week's um get ready with me using a weekly basket and then the basket i'll have linked down below as well i'll link my project pans and all that good stuff click su subscribe if you are new here and i will see you all in my next video bye